is Ben Weeks, and I'm the CTO of Request Tech. Since 2007, we've been specializing in video calling services, which enable businesses to engage with their customers. In the last three months, we have um, launched the world's first video banking service, allowing more than 8 million account holders to video call their uh, customer service representative from online banking. We have also launched a video consultation platform with the United Kingdom's National Health Service um, to treat people from the comfort of their own homes, and this is live now in um, three different counties in the UK. Um, both of those examples I've just given you are using WebRTC in Chrome right now. In other web browsers, we are successfully using Flash UDP. I'm now going to demonstrate calling, conferencing, and recording in our platform, as well as announcing the availability of our SDK and apps, uh, WebRTC, for iOS and Android, which will also feature as part of these demonstrations. Thank you. Um, so yeah, if you perhaps move to the middle, it might be easier to see both screens because these demos are going to involve both screens. So the essentials for any video calling service, it has to be zero install in any web browser. It has to be high quality, and we've been finding it's much more useful if you can put all of your calls onto a single UDP port. That's all of the calls onto one UDP port, and then your banks and your hospitals are much more happy about the firewall changes they have to make in order to allow their customers through those firewalls. Okay, so over here, I have an example. Oops. Ah, oh, it's changed, it's over there, that's fine. We can work with that. Right, so over here we have a customer who's visiting uh, a banking website, consider purchasing something, and the sales team is able to reach out <coughs> and offer them a video call, which in one click, they can pop up a little Chrome um, window and press the allow for WebRTC. This will now capture their microphone and show you that it's ringing. We're using SIP call control. Um, our SIP, we have SIP server certification with NSN IMS Core, with Genesis, and with Broadsoft. And what I'm actually showing you here, so on so on that side, you've got the customer, and on this side, we have the agent, full agent desktop. But that could equally be a SIP-capable client such as Bria from um, Counterpath. <clears throat> and what we're showing you here is a video call between WebRTC and Flash UDP. So I just need to get my orientation right, and you can see me on both. So if I come over here, you can see me waving here nicely, and you can see me waving over here. Many companies today can do flash to flash, many can do WebRTC to WebRTC, but I'm not aware of anybody else who's able to join the two technologies together in quite this way, <clears throat> which means that our technology is working cross-platform and also compatible with the strictest firewall requirements of banks and hospitals. This also provides a very good migration strategy should WebRTC become available in the future in other browsers or not. It takes that risk out of it allowing you to move over to WebRTC as it becomes available. We actually prefer WebRTC for the three main reasons. It has a superior bitrate adaptation, it has screen sharing, and it also um, has the support of Google to ensure its future evolution. But for today, Flash UDP is actually a very good way of being able to address all of your customers. Um, if you want, I can quickly and bravely go full screen on these sides. The delay that you see is just due to audio jitter buffer, which you would have in any video call. But if I stand up, you can see it's not delayed. And you wouldn't know that one side is flash and one side is WebRTC. So I'm not going to labor that point too much more, and we're going to proceed with some slightly more advanced feature sets now. The customer ends the call. He has a nice end to the call. Thank you very much, and we move on. I'm now going to log you in as a patient. OK, so in order to make these services work really well, it's OK, that's fine. Um, as well as having those three basics that I showed you, you need to have quite a few other features, such as appointments, billing, presence, collaboration, um, monitoring and reporting and the things that I've got up over there, which we can talk about a bit more 
as we go. So now I'm going to log in a patient over here. This is again using pure web RTC because obviously that's the most relevant thing for this demonstration. And they have a very uh, cut down version of what we call the full cockpit. They have connections, sorry, on the first tab they can see if they've got any bookings coming up, which I'm gonna make an appointment for you in a second. But here they can see the presence of any connections that they've got, so Dr. Joe blogs, um, any messaging history, and the ability to share and collaborate on files and documents. So I'm gonna to go to Joe Bloggs' profile from where I would be able to um, book an appointment. I'll quickly choose a slot for later on because we won't actually be able to use this appointment. So this is a case in the United Kingdom where it's deployed in order for patients to reach out and talk to their doctors. So either rehabilitation, their mental health professionals, and so they can have those appointments, they can consult other professionals, so it's something that is deployed. Um, the National Health um, Organization, United Kingdom, is using it, and they can actually create these interactions. So, um, of course- That's right. So as, as soon as the doctor here accepts this appointment, which would usually be done by an admin staff rather than the doctor himself, this appointment appears over here, and you can see that we've got in one hour and 32 minutes an appointment with Dr. Joe Bloggs. At the time of the call, um, the patient's phone or mobile device or desktop here would actually behave like it was receiving a call, which makes it very difficult to miss the appointment. All you actually have to do is log in and wait. But since our appointment is, is in one hour and 31 minutes, I'm actually going to initiate the call myself. Okay. Once the call is initiated, um, we might want to discuss something like an x-ray. So here the doctor is able to bring up an x-ray that was taken of my foot, and we can look at that. He's also able to draw on it, so we can see that we can mark out particular parts of it. And this bit's pretty cool, we're going to call in a consultant to discuss the possibility of operating on it. So I can see that this particular consultant iPad is online. So if you, you might need to log in with the uh, iPad mini. And now you can see that iPad mini has become online. There's a little picture of a doctor who's a consultant. I will now place the call. Did you unplug it? Okay, I'm going to bring in the iPad instead. Okay, so just answer the call on one of them. <clears throat> and now you can see the three different conferencing modes of our MCU. The ability to route video, which this one, whoops. Yeah, this one is showing us three separate streams, much like the video technology for routing. On this side, we're mixing the streams into a single feed. And on iPhone and Android, we actually send out a customized feed. But that's just three different examples of this. But now I'm going to share again the, um, the X-ray. Oops. That's fine. And now if you, if you go to the library and maybe bring up a consent form. So he's able to share the consent form within the conversation, and then the, the consultant is able to, um, using his tablet device, draw on the consent form and also sign it. So there we've demonstrated the calling, the conferencing, the collaboration across different browsers, mobile um, tablet devices. And I'm now going to end that particular call now that the, the operation has been set up. And if I move to the recordings tab, you can see here that there is a recording of the um, activity that just took place up there. And zero, take off. Are we done? 
Right. And I guess we've hit our mark. Okay. okay. Thank you very much, everybody.